to the School of Health Professions. I'm Christy harris Lamac, the Chair of Health Services Administration. How do you like our mural? Do you see anybody you recognize? <laughs> That's right. We painted you with our graduate. If you keep reading and studying, you'll graduate from UAB too. Why don't you come over here and join me for a story? Well, Blaze, I'm excited because today we're going to read a book called A Little Spot of Teamwork. And it was written and illustrated by Diane Alber, who gave us permission to read it today. Hi, we are Little Spots of Teamwork. We are here to show you how to collaborate and be a good team. What is a team? Do you know? Let's see if we can find out. A team is two or more individuals working together to achieve a common goal. You might see a pair of people working together, a crew, or even a large group. I can do a lot by myself. Why do I need to be part of a team? Well, being part of a team is great in many ways. You can make friends, build trust, and learn so much about yourself. You can also accomplish so much more working together than you can by yourself. Just look at the start of a giant snowman. Wow, they're going to build a snowman. There are so many places we enjoy every day because a group of people work together as a team. Schools, libraries, and community centers are examples of places built by a team of people. In teamwork, you collaborate a lot. That's a big word. Collaboration is when you have a group of people with a lot of different talents and skills working together to create something amazing. Technology, you know, like phones, computers, robots, they require people to collaborate every day as a team to come up with the latest device. So, what makes a good team? Do you know? Well, that's a great question. Teamwork spots follow these seven simple rules. Number one, agree on a common goal. Number two, do your part. Number three, listen to others. Number four, encourage others. Number five, share thoughts. Number six, problem solve. And number seven, respectfully disagree. You know, Blaze, sports teams are a wonderful example of how a group of people work together to score points. Do you know the majority of teams, both in and out of sports, share a similar structure? Most of teams have a leader, sometimes that's the captain, and they have teammates. So let's think about that. What makes a good leader? The leader's job is to guide the team to their goal. They can recognize the strengths and weaknesses of the team and make sure everyone stays on track. They are also good at encouraging the team and resolving conflicts. So that's what leaders do. What about being a good teammate? Well, the teammate's job is to follow the leader and do their part. They can do this by listening, by working hard, and having a positive attitude. In every team, there can be conflict. It's important that you learn how to respectfully disagree. So the team remains on task and has no hard feelings. What book should we read aloud today? Snippets. I'm not just a scribble. So that sounds like a conflict. So what do we do? First, we stay calm. The first step in a disagreement is to stay calm and listen. This will let the other person know you respect them and their opinion. Snippets is better because it's about shapes. Find the good. Find the positive in what they're saying 
and use sentences that start with I when responding. I hear what you are saying. Snippets is a great book. Next, share your thoughts and offer a compromise. Explaining why you don't agree and offering a compromise can show the person you are trying to find a resolution. But National Scribble Day is this week. How about if we read snippets next week? Yay! Well done. You were able to hear a great story and make amazing scribble art without fighting. Team building at home. Well, you know, Blaze, there are lots of ways that you can be a part of a team at home. Cooking is so much fun as a team. One person can roll out the dough and the other one stamps the cookies. I love cookies. Dinner time is another time when everyone can do their part and work together. There are several tasks to do. You can set the table, clear off the dirty dishes, clean the table, sweep the floor. Helping also shows kindness to your caregivers. In school, there are lots of teams. Not only can students collaborate during projects, but they can share tasks like opening the door, changing the weather chart, or turning off the lights. And you can switch up the tasks every week so everyone can participate and help the teacher. I'm the caboose. I'm in charge of turning off the lights. I'm the weather changer. I'm in charge of updating the weather on this chart. I'm the line leader. I'm the door holder. See, that's team building at school. It's important to constantly practice teamwork. You can do this with team building activities. We love team building activities. This helps everyone learn how to work together. So Blaze, I thought we would try one today. We're gonna do a portrait of Blaze, of you. And we're gonna work on that together. Let's give it a try. Sure, you can make art by yourself but you'll learn so much more when you work as a team. By making one giant portrait, you can practice problem solving by figuring out what design to do, learn techniques from your teammates, and create new art that you would never have thought of yourself. Shall we give it a try? Here we go. Let's each draw a part of this picture. really fun to draw you, Blaze. You are so fun and colorful. You know what, Blaze? The mural that we looked at earlier was created through collaboration and teamwork. Oh, well, let's bring in some more green. How about some more gold? Oh, look what you're doing. It's fantastic. Okay, Blaze, are you ready to reveal what we did together? Look at this amazing picture. We even have of you reading a book. So how about the kids at home? What have you done in your picture? Have you enjoyed working on this project together? I know we love doing stuff like this. Wow. Look, Blaze, what a great job. I'm so proud of you and I'm proud of us as a team. Thanks for drawing with me. This was so much fun. I learned a lot about collaboration and teamwork and how to be a good team leader and a teammate. And I hate to say this, but I gotta go. I gotta go teach my students about teamwork and about leadership. So thank you for being here today, for being my friend. And I'll see you the next time you're here at SHP. Don't get lost on the way out.